Me backslide, and I had vowed never to return back to the Lord. When I witnessed the atrocities a priest like you committed at the altar, but I thank God for Pastor Wilson. He rescued me from my revenge mission, which could have ended my life in hell. My son, God, I'm not back in the Lord. I've repented. I've returned the car I bought with the blood money. But unfortunately, the dealer deducted 15% of the money I paid him. I have now managed to return 930,000 Naira, which I have changed into bank draft bearing your name. Reverend, I thank God I have my peace back. I promise you now, Reverend, that I will go back home and burn all the photocopies and the pages of the diary in my possession. I will have nothing to do with it again. But I leave you alone, Reverend, to amend your ways. I leave you alone with God. Reverend, sir, may the Lord help you I trust the Lord to help you to do the right thing, sir. By tomorrow morning, sir, I would be back in Kaduna. I have completed my assignment here, sir. Bye for now, sir. Bye, sir. And don't stand the altar of God. Lord, on the altar. Lord, on the altar. You can't hide from God. He recover your sin. What kind you have? Don't hide from God. Cause He knows all things. Don't stand the altar with the blood of sin. Don't defy the altar. Oh, 
Yeah, yeah, today, but, but all the same, I, I need to thank you. I need to thank you. Did you call me because you are doubtful of my repentance? And you feel I may change my mind? <sighs> no, Reverend. I've made up my mind not to tread in the path of perdition. I've washed my hands off your case. I leave you alone to own up to your sin and take appropriate steps. Here today, I will confess. You see, I just need to take my time. I will confess. You see, there is an appropriate time for everything. I will confess. I sincerely hope you will do the right thing in time. I hope it won't be too late. Oh my God. Now, yeah. All right, uh, here today. Now, concerning the 70,000 Naira balance, I wouldn't want you to bother bringing it back. You see, it don't bother returning it. Never. If I had returned my 130,000 Naira, what stopped me from looking for the remaining 70,000 Naira? I never wanted to be part of your sin, Reverend. I have no need of the blood money. In fact, I must come to your office with the money before the week runs out. Have decided to borrow the money from a friend. No. I can't take the offer. It is too costly. Anyway, uh, what is it? You today, I, I don't want you to come to my office. You, you can pay the money into my account. You know my bank, don't you? No. I brought the bank draft to your office. I will bring the balance to your office. Why don't you want me in your office? Oh, my God. You see, you today, it's, it's not that I don't want you in my office. But, but you see, people are beginning to become suspicious of your presence in my office all the time. Please. Please. I don't want to be a partaker of your camouflage. Allow me to come to your office for the last time. At least to drop the balance of the money. Please allow me. All right. When are you coming? Whenever I get the money this week. Anytime. Well, now when you... Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. It's all right. Thank you very much. Hello? Hello, you're from the... Yes, this is... Give me the book. You broke my phone! You. you have changed to another man. <laughs> I heard how you said to the lead. And what did you hear? I heard all your conversation. It is the same lady you have been talking to. Yet with the friend of today. You don't want her to come to your office. 
Because people are already suspicious of our presence. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Don't you know many things are wrong with you? Eh? You've never been beating me since 20 years of our marriage. Until the matters of this lady crop up. Don't you know many things are wrong with her home? You've changed. You are beating me upon the death of my daughter. Ah, God. <laughs> avoid asking this question for a long time partly because I'm afraid of what the answer could be or I can't even imagine myself asking you such a question what is it I'm sorry to ask this same um, pending question And I'm sorry if the question will hurt you. But I've got no choice now but to hear it directly from your mouth. What is the question? Did you have any affair with Tumi? What affair? What sort of affair? Okay. Let me refrain the question. Did you at any time have any relationship with Tumi? What sort of relationship, for God's sake? What sort of relationship? But you understand what I mean? No, I don't know what you mean. What type of relationship? Okay. Please forgive me. Um, were you responsible for to miss pregnancy? Oh my God. What kind of nonsense are you saying? What sort of nonsense are you saying? But she was phoning in this place before she went for the abortion. And after she died, you were negotiating some amount with her friends. Yet today, at the time you were even begging her to be in it with you. I dreamt I saw this lady to me, storming into our bedroom and sitting on her bed. I've been trying to link some clue together and I'm becoming more convinced that to me state 
is somehow connected with this family. What sort of nonsense are you saying? Eh? What is this nonsense that you are saying? Okay. If I'm saying nonsense, then I'm very sorry. But if not, and you are trying to hide this sin, then we are in danger. Because we may not be able to face the impending consequences. You amaze me. In fact, you amaze me. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry if I amaze you. But as you can see, things are not normal in this house. And the ministry is somehow affected. You amaze me. There you amaze me. Nonsense. Continue praying for him. Pastor, 
Do you think the two of us are enough to handle this? I said, now, only the three of us know about this evil act. The Reverend, you and I. I mean, this man is not trying to help himself. He is drowning. And he may bring his entire family down into the sea with him. Pastor. Yes, yes, you may. You see, I'm not comfortable with this attitude of helping a man of God to conceal his sin. I will not be partaker of his sin by helping him to keep his secrets. Yes, uh, you are right, Yetunde, you are right. You are right. Uh, but you know what? Uh, just give me some time to pray and do some thinking. And um, I will call you back later in the day. Okay. All right. I'll be waiting. Normal line of thinking was wrong. I was thinking that since he's an elderly man of God and a preacher, he would know what to do. And I didn't want to expose him to affect his ministry, his church, and his family. That was my thinking. All along, I knew that line of thought was wrong. I mean, <laughs> Ephesians 5, 11 to 13 has always been flashing across my mind ever since you started the case. What's in that scripture? It said something about not taking part in any of fruitful works of darkness. Uh, Ephesians 5... Ephesians 5, 11 to 13. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove, but rather expose them. Hmm. For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. My goodness. See, mm. my version is revised standard version. Mm -hmm. And the English is clearer. What does it say? It says, take no part in any of fruitful works of darkness, but instead expose them. Hmm. Take no part in any of fruitful works of 
Since he has refused to confess his sins, his mind will be getting more hardened. He will still be conducting crusades, honoring invitations, and even laying hands on the heads of innocent children of God. <sighs> My own conclusion is that if you don't expose these hidden secrets, you are a particular of it. Hmm. <laughs> Honey, I will be on the Lord's side. Please, I need the SIM card. I know you have to give it. Me assumption. Oh my God. This is not an assumption. inside his drawer to put in another answer this morning. Now, for God's sake, it is missing. Yes, who is it? Uh, David. What is it, David? Reverend Hodia is in the living room. He says he needs to see you urgently. I told him he might be praying. I see. So I just tell him I will see him shortly. David, are you eating? No, I will eat later. But you are looking dull. Cheer up. Be happy, eh? Come. Will you go back and tell him that I'm coming? What do you think you have just done? Eh? Do you realize what you have just done? Hmm? Shouting at a boy who is suffering some psychological trauma for losing his only sister of recent. I did not shout at him. I only sent him on an error. That's all. Now, Esther, I, I know that you have taken the SIM card. Please, I need to make some calls. I didn't take it. Oh my God, you lie! <laughs> and do you think I, a Reverend Mrs., could lie to you? Oh my God. Oh my God. I, 
put the SIM card in this drawer yesterday night before I slept off. Who else would have taken it but you? All right, then. It means you have taught me how to lie and deceive. How do you mean? It is like the oil of evil. The precious ultimate pour upon his head, down to his beard, and ran down to the skirt of his garments. So, it starts from the head. What exactly are you saying? You are the head of this home, the prophet of this family, the priest of the altar. When the pulpit is corrupted, the pews get polluted. You started the lies and deceits, and perhaps you have rubbed it on me. Excuse me. Enough of this nonsense! Enough of this nonsense! I need the SIM card now! And I will give you. Esther, I need to make some calls. I need to make some important calls. I too want to make a call more important than yours. Our home is crumbling, and I must salvage it. If you try it, I will scream and rebel with you. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. So what are you waiting for? The General Secretary of the Pentecostal Association of Ministers is waiting for you downstairs. Don't keep the man up with me. He is an honorable man. I Go. The mail. Just this morning, I opened my box and I found it. I found the mail there. Probably they don't have your email address. They do. You see, my letter of uh, acceptance of invitation, which my secretary gave to Apostle Ken Basi when he came to my office, definitely had my email address on it. So, why did they not write me directly? I mean, why sending the mail to your box? Probably the mail I received was a copy, sir. Mm. Um, have you checked your mail this morning? Um, they might have sent it there. It's all right. That's all right. I will check it later. According to the letter, they said they had made all necessary planning, publicity, mm. and accommodation for you and your wife <laughs> and three other assistants. However, they said that the Lord uh, led them to cancel your invitation and that you shouldn't bother to come again. I see it as a lack of proper organization. I mean, didn't they pray before sending a delegate from Harare, Zimbabwe? I see it as a lack of proper organization. Reverend Hodia, good morning. <laughs> How are you? Fine, man. Good morning. Yes, ma'am. How's mom? Ah, she's okay. She's okay. Ah. I'm glad to see you smiling this morning. <laughs> the Lord has begun to heal your wounds. Really? Hmm. I believe so. So what brought you here this morning? It's the Harari Believers Convention in Zimbabwe. Yeah, what about it? We received the mail this morning that they have cancelled Reverend Osea's invitation and that he's no more invited. It is ridiculous. Did they give any reason? No tangible reason. Other than the fact that they said that the Lord led them to do so. Mm -hmm. But that is the most tangible reason any group of people could give. Once they were led of the Lord to cancel my husband's invitation, they must have heard from the Lord. Why did you say that? I see it as lack of proper planning and focus. No, I don't think so. You see, God leads at times in a way we human beings don't understand. 
But uh, yeah, it's all right. It's all right, brother. No, dear. It's all right. It's all right. All things work together for good to them that are called according to His purpose. Thank you very much. I want to be sure of you. Say no word to your family. God bless you. Reverend, thank you very much. Thanks, madam. Great to meet you again. Bye. You are really welcome. to have a few words with him. You know, to talk to him. To let him know my conviction. Yes, and my position. I want him to know that we are not ready to partake in his sins and cover him up. No, but I have not been able to get him. Well, what do you suggest now? Hmm, I don't know yet, I don't know yet. Do you want me to go to him? I can go to him. I can approach him in his office. No, 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 yet today. Uh, you won't be able to handle it. Ah. You are too irritable and you will just mess everything up. Well, I still have to go to him today or tomorrow. I have to give him the balance of the money. Mm, yes, but you have to lean on the wisdom of God. Hmm? To know the right thing to say and uh, you should tell him the mind of God. How I wish I could speak to him on the phone. Are you still thinking of coming back to Lagos? Kaduna is a long distance. Please, don't bother to come. Mm, I don't know, but uh, I will still be trying his line. I may be lucky to get him. I'll call you back. All right, sir. Bye. Why are you trying to cover up your 
sins. You are trying desperately to cover up your sins. And this will be telling on your life, your family, and your home, and your ministry. The word of God says in Proverbs 28, 13, that he that covers his sins will not prosper. But he that confesses them and forsakes them shall obtain mercy. Sir, instead of confessing this horrible sin, you are trying all your possible best to cover it up. I learned you slapped your wife or even beat her yesterday. Ah, that is too bad, sir. It's not fair at all. Considering all this trauma this woman has gone through, including losing a full grown-up daughter. Ah, no, sir. That's not fair at all. That's not fair at all. I suggest that you confess to her, sir, and open up to her, sir. Yes, that you confess this horrible thing you have done, sir. Sir, Yetunde and I, who have a full knowledge of all these atrocities, will suggest that you open up to your wife, sir, and obtain mercy from the Lord, sir. Sir, if you do not do this, sir, uh, we shall have to inform your wife and some elders of the household of God, sir. You have between this moment and tomorrow evening to confess to your wife. Thank you for not switching off your phone, sir. Hold it, please. Don't cut off the phone. Hello? 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 Is this not Reverend Hosea? No, I'm his wife. What? You mean you are the one I've been talking to? Yes, I am. I'm sorry. I, I, I thought I was talking to Reverend Hosea. Hello? 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 I'm listening. I've tried Reverend Osea's number. I think it's engaged. I need to inform him in order to meet him in the office. Don't call his number now. You see, if you call him now, you'll be speaking to Mrs. Hosea. Oh! I, I just called Reverend Hosea to tell him our stand and our conviction. But, but you won't believe it. I was speaking directly to Mrs. Hosea. All our counseling all our position and expression of his hidden sins were all falling on Mrs. Hosea's lap. You can't believe it. So don't call him. Yes, yes, please don't call him at all now. If you call him, you'll be speaking to Mrs. Hosea. Pastor will see. Yes, yes, yes. If his wife has had all those things, that's really source of our body. It makes our responsibilities easier. That's a good news, Pastor. Why the panic? I'm not panicking yet today. I only want this situation to be handled in a wise and a productive manner. I do not want us to have a destructive a contribution, but rather a constructive one. All right. All right, so what do I do now? Um, don't do anything. Don't do anything until you hear from me. Understand? I will call you. All right. Good luck.
What's all this, eh? What's all this? I might have missed a lot of calls now. I am sinking deeper and deeper into the swamp of the seas. Is it possible to ever get out of this? But I need the SIM card. Yet to make a call. Or even Pastor Wilson. Hello? Hello? Yes, ma. Why are you doing this to me? Why are you avoiding talking with me? Because I consider it inappropriate to speak to his wife first. Promise you will give me five minutes to talk before you cut off the line. Okay. Okay, ma. Pastor Wilson. You are a man of God. Why are you comfortable helping another man of God to conceal a sin? You are a custodian of his wicked, terrible and hidden sin. And yet, you feel so relaxed. Going about your normal ministerial duties. Why the devil ravages our home, family, and ministry because of an unconfessed sin? I've been praying, fasting, waiting upon the Lord to know the cause of our affliction, not knowing that another man of God is even privy to it. Why do you keep quiet? Is it the will of God? I'm sorry. Was it God who told you to conceal the sins of another man of God? Did it the Lord instruct us in 4 Timothy chapter 5 verse 20 to rebuke those that sin before all that others may fear? Did it He instruct us and even command us in Ephesians chapter 5 verse 11? Not to partake in the fruitful works of darkness, but to rather expose them. You are right, man. You are right. Then why are you afraid to expose sin? What do you preach in your church? Pastor Wilson? Yes, ma'am. I'm listening. Whose side are you? <laughs> I'm on the Lord's side, ma'am. I am the wife of Reverend Atiladi Osea. What evil has my husband done? What atrocities has he committed? I knew it when you thought you were talking to him. You said there are sins he has committed which he has not confessed. And since he has laid his hand on those sins, in fact, the joy of the Lord has departed from our home. And the ministry has begun to suffer too. Pastor Wilson. Yes, ma'am. I am aware several atrocities have been committed by some men of God. And so many people who are privy to these are keeping them secrets. Those who are keeping the secrets are only doing what the devil wants so that the sins could remain unconfessed till he eventually lead those who committed them into eternal destruction. Those who are helping 
a cover-up of viruses at the hotel and doing exactly what the devil wanted and they are helping the devil to fulfill his purpose. Pastor Winston. Yes, ma'am. I'm listening, ma'am. I don't want the unconfessed sins of my husband to lead him into eternal destruction in hell. I love him. We have implored him, ma'am, to confess these sins, but he has remained adamant. Then you have to let me help him. You have to tell me everything about the evil you know he has done. Alright, ma'am. I understand. You have to... Okay. Alright. I will call you back soon, okay? What is it there? You still not, not giving me the same card. Hmm. Hmm. I might have missed a lot of calls, you know. I'm sorry. That's all right. several times this afternoon, but it wasn't going through. Oh, sorry. My battery was down. I couldn't charge it in the office. I'm just charging it now. You're welcome. What happened? Welcome, sir. What brought you back to Lagos? You said the case was closed, or you've opened up another one? No. It's the same old case. The Lord sent me back. He said the case cannot be closed unless it's concluded. In fact, the whole thing has taken a new turn. What happened again? It was here today that the Lord used to open my eyes. She said it would be morally and spiritually wrong for us to conceal the abomination this man has done. You see? I know I received this in my spirit. I told you what we are doing is wrong. My wife said it is like taking part in those atrocities with them. Hmm. Exactly what Yitunde said. Actually, we have been confused for the past three days. Have you heard of the coming Pentecostal Power Conference? Uh, what conference is that? It's going to be a very big program. It combines all churches and ministries from all the zones of the state, beginning from next week Thursday. And Reverend Hosea is one of the speakers. 
in fact, is going to take the opening message. Is that so? Yes. You see? The adverts have been running since last week. Posters are pasted all over the city. And Reverend Osia's picture is on the poster. My church is involved in the planning. My ushers, my counselors, are among the central workers for the mega conference. I just came back from the general meeting of the coordinating pastors. Now I see why the Lord asked me to come back. And what are you going to do now? You see, it's not my responsibility to judge men of God or to seek to expose their sins. It is God that judges all men, and we are all responsible to Him, the Lord our Master. But however, I must not encourage others to cover up their sins. And I do not want to be a partaker of any man's sins. We all know the fact, and we all have knowledge of all the sins and atrocities that this man has committed. So we cannot pretend that we do not know it. We will have to take this body off our necks by informing an elderly authority and leave them to do as the Lord leads them. Yeah. Which elderly authority can we inform? I really don't know. But I would like to have a few words with him. Perhaps he might be humble enough to approach the Lord and obtain his mercy. And if necessary, I would like to speak to his wife. So, you hit now, you rest, tomorrow we set out on the assignment. Ah, no, 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 no. We leave right away. When I come back, I will eat and rest. Oh. I, I told you I just came from the general meeting of the coordinating pastors in preparation for the power conference. And uh, ah, it has been a very hectic day. Don't worry, don't worry. You just take me to his house. You can sleep in the car. I will go inside, right? Uh, remember, we are in this ministry together. Mm. Yes. In fact, this is a very strange ministry. But, thank God, I'm getting used to it. <laughs> thank you. Uh. Sir, you can still eat something while he goes in to change his dress. Uh, no, 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 don't worry. No, thank you. Probably just water.
But we never finish our discussion in the afternoon. Have you seen it? Yeah. Thank you very much. Actually, ma'am, we have concluded our conversation. I said all that I thought I needed to say. But you've not told me all necessary things you need to tell me. Actually, I'd like to discuss with him first because I want to give him the singular honor of opening to you by himself. You want to see him? Well, yes. He's resting in his room. Can I go and open him? Uh, that will be all right. Okay. Not on the altar. You can't hide from God. Cause it sees all things. Not on the altar. Not on the altar. You can't keep God out. Cause it knows all things. Not on the yes. altar. Did they come alone? Yes. I see. Uh, go. Then go and tell him that I'm coming. Let us go and see him now. Us? Did they say he wants to see us together? No. He said he wants to see you. Go and tell him I'm coming. I said then go and tell him I'm coming. Ah. Sorry, sir, to have disturbed your sleep. I learned you are resting. No, 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 never mind, never mind. Yes, sir. Never mind. So, how is the ministry doing? The Lord is helping us. Sir. Oh, that's good. That's good, yes, sir. Pastor Wilson, what brought you here this evening? I wanted to see you to have a few discussions with you, sir. I see. Yes, sir. So, where can we talk? Uh, anywhere, sir. All right, I sit down. Sit down. Thank you, sir. Ma. Uh, you would have to excuse us, ma. Still, 
sacrifice upon my altar. You have brought this credit to my church and you have caused the world to jeer at Christ. You have not only broken the laws of thy Lord thy God, but you have also broken his heart. Thus said the Lord thy God, whom thou hast despised and ridiculed. I am tired of your offerings and despise your sacrifice. Since you have decided to sacrifice your years of labor on the altar of adultery, your ministry is taken away from you and burnt into ashes. Put your house in order, for thou shalt die tomorrow. Ah. I had sent for her to meet me at my hotel room when I had traveled. Ah. Mm. Mm. When she came to inform me that she was pregnant, I persuaded her to abort it. Hey! Jesus Christ. Huh? Ah. Honey. <laughs> My God. I gave her 100,000 Naira to ever quit it. Ah. 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 God. The evacuation was badly done by whoever did it. Ah. And that was why she died. Ah. That was why she died. Mm. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hey. Huh? Uh. Ah. God. That is the evil that I did to my God. That is the evil that I did to my God. Uh. I have despised his grace too. And I have scorned this favor. Oh my God. I have dragged his precious name in the mud. Oh, I have seen the king's his holy name. Oh my God. Ah. I don't know why. I don't know why it has taken me so long to open up and to surrender at his feet. I don't know why. Ah. Look at Look at the evil that I have done to myself. Now that pastor has prophesied that I need to put my house in order. No! 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 He said I shall die tomorrow. Don't say that again. Don't say that again. No! Don't say that. Perhaps the Lord will spare my life 
now that I have confessed, yes, oh my God, what evil have I done to myself? 30 years of ministry flushed down the drains just like that. Oh my God. Just like that? Ha! Oh Lord. God have mercy. So what is this study in the gap, Lord? Have mercy, Lord. You have blessed us in mercy, Lord God. I don't want this man to die. Lord, have mercy. Forgive, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. No, please have mercy. <laughs> Your will for me will always come to pass If I concentrate and focus on you alone And when I say you are willing to forgive As I confess and trust in you alone Lord, Lord you will be favorable to his wife and his one lady for his son Lord, we Lord, we bring you mercy. I will let him live, O oh God. Show him mercy, Father. Lord, please. Have mercy on him, O oh Lord, and forgive him all his sins. Lord, we pray that we spare his life, O oh God. Please, 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 Lord. Spare his life. Spare his life. Of Jesus, O oh God. <laughs> My God. Is it really true that I am dying tomorrow? Is it really true, Lord? Oh my God. Hmm. I know I have wounded your heart, Lord. I know that I have despised your grace upon me. Oh my God. I know that I have dragged your name in the mud. My God. God, you are a great Savior. Turn your hunger away from me, Lord. Have mercy, Lord, have mercy. I am sorry for all my sins. I am sorry, Lord. I am truly sorry. Forgive me, Lord. Uh, <laughs> Forgive me all the sins. Uh, oh my God. Forgive me, Daddy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Forgive me, Daddy. <laughs> Let your hunger and your wrath be torn away from me. <laughs> I'm sorry for every sin that I have committed, Daddy. Understand this not. It's like a beast that perish. Baba, is it true that I will die tomorrow? Why are you afraid of dying? Oh my God, Baba. It's just that I am not prepared for it yet. I am not prepared for it. Are you sure you are not prepared to die? Yes, Baba. So many visions, Baba. Yet, yet to be realized, Baba. So many lands to be captured for the Lord God. Baba, 
several ministry ideas that we have to liberate millions of souls. Baba, I, I, I don't want to die now. I don't want to die now, Baba. You are talking about the visions that are yet to be fulfilled. But even the ones that have been done have been destroyed already. Oh my God. Ah! Oh my God. 30 years of ministry. Yes. Oh. You have just destroyed it yourself. Ah! Ah! Oh. Oh. Lord. Would you forgive me, Lord? Would you? You are Lord that is merciful and gracious. Lord, you are long suffering and abundant in goodness and in truth. You are the God that keeps mercies for thousands. You forgive iniquity, transgressions, and sin. Yes. Yeah. And will by no means clear the guilty. Oh my God. Lord, you have to forgive me these errors. I have forgiven you. Lord, I don't want to die. I don't want to die, Lord. Will you be able to withstand the impending shame, disgrace, and affliction that this sin will bring upon you? Oh my God. Your ministry is gone, son. Your life has been cut short. Uh. David was a man after my heart. When he did a similar thing, he asked for forgiveness of his sin, and I forgave him. But do you know what I told him? In 2 Samuel chapter 12, verse 12, I said, even though he committed the sin in secret, I will expose him before all Israel and before the Son. Ah, my God. Can you remember the shame and disgrace he went through, including losing his four eldest sons mm. Mm. with mm. Ammon, the crown prince? Ah. He spent the remaining years of his life in distress and calamities. Oh, God. Oh, my God. You will not be able to handle what lies ahead of you. Lord, I am deeply sorry for this errors, Lord. The enemy has triumphed over you to some extent. He has cut short your ministry and made a mess of your 30 years of labor in the vineyard. So, taking you away from the field of the game is to save you from further affliction of the enemy. Your wife and your son will still scale through because they are innocent mm. and I will favor them. Mm. So, give me the scepter. Why, Lord? Why, Lord? I'm taking it away from you. Oh. You've got no ministry anymore. Ah. I'm taking the authority of the ministry from your hand. Oh my God. So, give it to me. Ah. Keep the fire. That is all trans. You will still deliver a message. Lord, my Lord. Why, 
Lord. Praise the Lord. There. There. Yes. Praise God. Where am I? Where is this place? Hospital. Hospital? What? What happened? Shh. You just need to relax now, okay? Relax. What? Please. What happened? Why, why am I in this place? I remember we were in the room yesterday night. Yes, yes. And I was sitting on the bed with you. Yes. You were, sh you were shouting and crying and praying. All of a sudden you just went unconscious. Ah. You fainted and that's all. I screamed. I prayed. I did all I could but you never came around. Oh my God. The gate man had high rush you here. Oh my God. Me? Just fainted? The doctor said you were having high oh. blood pressure. High blood pressure? He even said he need to run some tests on you. I see. But where, where is David? He just left this place now. He should be at the reception. I see. How are you feeling now? Hmm? I'm having a severe headache. Sorry. You cannot hide this from God. You may cover your sins and say nobody knows. You cannot hide it from God. No. No. No, 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 no. Not so soon. No. Not so soon. Look, his death will not be of advantage to anybody. We have prayed. And the Lord will answer our prayer. Amen. 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 <laughs> when did the woman say he was taken to the hospital? She said yesterday night that he fainted and became unconscious while he was praying. Huh? <sighs> Jesus. Pastor it's me. Oh, hello, ma. Yes, uh, I know, I know, I know. Uh, how is he fearing? He's beginning to ask of some people. He particularly has of you. He wanted to come and see me. Ah. Ah. Pastor Wissi, I was there yesterday when the word of knowledge was coming out of your mouth. I was there yesterday when he was told he would die today. But, Pastor, can you pray? He has asked for forgiveness of sin. He has asked God for mercy and forgiveness. He has confessed his sin. Get to join your faith with man. I don't want this man to die. All right, ma. I will be there shortly. Thank you. Check Mr. Clement who was his number for me. To me, husband? Yes. I need to confess to him too. Call his number. But will he be able to bear it? Honey, I have a duty to fulfill. I must have to smooth in all the rough edges. I need to confess to him too. Call this number. Hmm. It's really good. Tell him. 
Tell me what? Everything. No. Let me tell it myself. Hello? Is that Mr. Clement Owese? Yes. Who is this, please? Uh, this is Reverend Attila de Usia. Call it from Lagos. Ah, <laughs> good evening, sir. It's so nice to hear your voice again. How is mommy? I have a confession to make. Confession? What confession? Huh. I admit it was a terrible thing that is not expected from someone like me. You see, I was overtaken by the enemy and I fell for the trap. What's going on, sir? I must have hurt you deeply. I must have inflicted a lifelong wound on your heart. But please, it is only one thing I ask of you. Find a place in your heart to forgive me. What have you done to me? I was responsible for the pregnancy of your wife. Hello? Hello? What? He has cut off. Hmm. He must have been too shocked. Bring the phone. You said you were responsible for the pregnancy to me aborted? Mr. Clement, I know you have every right to be angry. But please forgive me. Forgive me. Ah! Oh. Uh, hello? It's off again. It's off again. That's all. You've told him enough. Bring the phone. You need to rest, please. Hmm. I need to inform the house of God, too. Ah. Hmm. Get me, Reverend Dr. Billy Vincent. Hmm. I need to tell him, too. You want to tell the president of the Pentecostal Minister Association? I want to call him, to tell him to call a press conference and to announce my expulsion from the Pentecostal Association. No, you can't do this. You have repented. You have asked God for forgiveness. Oh, Get him for me. I am acting under instructions. Let him begin to make a public announcement. Of all ministers of God who drag the name of the Lord God in the mud, get in for me. Oh God. <laughs> you are clever. What is the matter? Have found him. Who? The murderer. The man who impregnated my wife and pushed her to commit abortion to cover up his misdeeds. Who is he? Reverend Osia. Atilade Osia. Reverend Osia. Reverend Osia. Reverend Osia of uh, Pentecostal Association in Lagos. I don't care what association he belongs to. He just called me so many seconds to confess. 
I brought Levi. I, I, I can't believe this. <laughs> you see my predicament? I pushed my wife out of my home because of a stranger, not knowing that I was pushing her into the hands of a stranger. man. You see my wife? of God when I heard that my wife was working in a church office with a man of God. I was happy thinking that at least she is safe from the usual madness of the world. <laughs> but I was deceiving myself. I never knew she was employed by the devil's head at himself. This man slept with my wife. He pregnated her, pushed her to commit abortion and she died in the process. This evil man was there with me in the hospital at the deathbed of my wife when I was weeping sorrowfully. When I went to take custody of my son, I went to his house to thank him for all his support. This man saw me in my agony, yet he kept mute. Can you imagine the hypocrisy in the church? I never knew the devil now lives in the church. No, don't say that. Ha, be calm. No, I will say it. I will tell the whole world how a man of God ruined my life. I'm going to call my boss in Lagos. I will get him arrested. I will show him and I'm sure that he's jailed for this. Let me, let the Lord handle this matter. Leave the Lord out of this. I will handle it myself. I will handle it my own way. Don't you know what he has done? He has made me a widower and my son motherless. <laughs> the whole world was here about this. The whole world was here how the, the evil that they saw us now have gushed on. Brad Clement. No, no, no. Sorry, man. I am not Brad Clement. I am a naval officer. Lieutenant Commander Clement Owesley. Good day. Don't bother to pray for me. Don't even worry about me. I know my hand. And I know it is not in the Lord's intention that this ministry should die. It's all my making. Huh. Reverend Vincent. Yes. I have made a confession. I delayed for so long. Oh my God. I have told you everything. Now, I have no ministry anymore. <laughs> and the labor of 30 years have all been rubbished by that simple little sin. I am guilty of adultery, of abortion, and of the mother of a lady who ran away from marital crisis to take shelter under the ministry that the Lord has given me. Oh, oh my God. I have called the husband and opened up to him. And I've also asked him to pardon me for the deliberate evils. But how will the people feel when they hear this? I have tried to cover up these things. It has never worked. So, <clears throat> it will never work for whoever tries to cover it. It will never. The Lord has said, that the time has come that they will begin to pull this church and prepare her for his second coming. Huh. He said he will begin to judge the praise of his house and those who have desecrated his holy altar. Huh. He said he will begin to bring them all to justice. 
Lord said he would beat them with the rod of afflictions. It is time, says the Lord, that he will arise against all those who profess religion and not a relationship to God. And all that are given is enemies' reasons for reproach and blasphemy. Yes, the time has come. The time has come, says the Lord, that those who spoil my altar shall bear the shame of it. Huh. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Reverend Vincent, call a press conference and tell the whole world that I am sorry. But don't forget to tell them that the Lord has forgiven me. Yes, He has forgiven me of the great evil. I have labored in His vineyard for 30 years. Yes, and all the works are burned. I'm going back to Him with the hashes of the labor of 30 years. The Lord and His mercy have said that He will make my wife and son to scale through the sorrowful moments. Oh my God. I leave them all in His care. Thank you all. Suspect is hiding here. No suspect is hiding in this hospital. Oh, he is a suspect. Only pretending to be a patient here. Listen, doctor. These officers are here to arrest Reverend Sia. He has discovered that his secrets are leaked, and so he's pretending to be sick in order to avert judgment. No, he was brought here yesterday night after fainting during a prayer session. I examined him and find out that he has high blood pressure. So he has been placed on admission. Doctor, you have been fooled. Alright, alright. Can we see him? Okay, let's go and see him. Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, we have location, sir. Yes, sir. Are they in position, sir? Yes, sir. Come right. All right. As you can see, he's resting. Proclaiming. These are his people who have come to see him. Doctor, this man has to wake up. He has to confirm what he confessed to me on the phone. No, we can't wake him up. We have to wait for him to wake up. Proclaiming. You can ask me whatever question you want to ask him. No. Ah. This officer has to hear him speak. Reverend Osia. Reverend Osia. What is it, Doctor? 
What is it, Doctor? Are you all here? You didn't know. What is it? Don't tell me that. I'm sorry. Huh? Ah! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! live from the alleged hideout of the Reverend, a hospital. We're hoping this time to get his own side of the story. We have reports that the police are here with the husband of the deceased woman. As you can see, the were a dull countenance. Probably the Reverend has been taken under arrest. But he doesn't seem to be being led by them. Well, um, viewers, let's find out from the police what exactly is going on. Good afternoon, sir. We see you coming out of the hospital where the suspect is um, said to be hiding, but we don't see you leading him out. Have you been convinced otherwise what exactly is going on? Well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we are unable to arrest the man. We got to his ward and we found him dead. Dead? Yeah. Uh, are you sure he, w he, he was dead? Are, are you sure this is not a smoke screen to avoid getting arrested? No, no, no. no. You see, the, the, the doctor was there and uh, the doctor confirmed him dead. Apart from that, there were some of his relatives on ground who witnessed the um, incident and they were equally amazed that the man is dead. Ladies and gentlemen, this is amazing. Well, well sir, before you go, is, is it possible for you to rule out the possibility of um, suicide to avoid embarrassment? You see, ladies and gentlemen, until a lot of C is carried out and further investigations are made, we may not be able to give additional comments on this. Uh, so if you will please excuse us, we will appreciate you. Thank you very much. But, but before you go, is it possible? Excuse me, sir. Are you still sure you're still going to secure, sir? Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Sir, is it true that Reverend Osia is dead? Will this not damage the integrity and the reputation of the church? Sir, is this not one out of the many instances that we obtained in the church today? Sir, will this not hinder the growth of the church? Sir, we feel that Reverend Osia committed suicide. Is it not true? No comment. Well, surely you must make one of us. Sir, what's the cause of justice against the church on this matter? Would you be giving us a price for What about his wife and his children, sir? Okay, will you take this to avoid the
Thank you.